All right, so let's do another Bayes' theorem problem. So consider the following. We have three coins in a box, right? One of the coins is two-headed, uh, two the other is a fair coin, and the third is a biased coin that comes up heads 75% of the time. When one of the three coins is selected at random and flipped, it shows heads. What is the probability that it was the two-headed coin that was selected and flipped, right? So again, um, just reiterating Bayes' theorem, the probability of A given B is going to be equal to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of the given. And since they're not independent, we have to expand the numerator um, by saying that the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A, and obviously that is still divided by the probability of the given, right? So in this case, um, our A, right, is going to be the two-headed coin, right? That's the probability that we want to uh, calculate. And B is going to be, our given is, right, we're given the fact that it came up heads, right? So let's go calculate the probability of our, um, our given first, right, since, since um, that doesn't change, right? The probability of B, right? So the probability of B. So what's the probability that a flip is heads, right? Forget everything else, forget everything, the fact that it's given uh, that it's heads. What's the probability that it's going to be heads, right? Well, we have three coins in a box. We assume that there's equal probability of picking any one of those three, right? So it could be either the two-headed coin or the fair coin or the three-quarters, um, the 75% 70, the heads coin, right, the biased coin. So it could be either one of those three, right? So... Um, if we consider the two-headed coin, what's the probability, right? So they're in a box. I have three of them. What's the probability of picking the two-headed coin out of those three? Well, that's just one-third, right? So it's one-third, right? So I have to first pick the coin, then I have to flip it, and the flip has to be heads, right? So for the two-headed coin, if I flip it, what's the probability that a two-headed coin will be heads? Well, obviously it's one, right? Because duh. So that's times one. Plus. Or... Right, because remember our end in or rule. It can be either the two-headed coin, or the fair coin, or the bias coin. Right. So let's talk about the fair coin. Right. So the probability of picking the fair coin again is going to be one third. Right. Times the probability that a fair coin will come up heads, which is obviously one half. Right. Because it'd be either heads or tails on a fair coin. Right. And the reason why we're multiplying here because you have to pick it and it has to come up heads, right? Again, and an overall. So it can be either the two-headed coin or the fair coin, or in this case, it could, um, it could be the bias coin. My brown is over here, right? So it can be either the bias coin, the probability of picking the bias coin is obviously one-third. And the bias coin has to come up heads. Um, excuse me. The, um, so it has to come up heads, right? So that's obviously three quarters of the time, right? Because 75% is three quarters. Okay? So that is basically your, um, your given. Uh, excuse me, your, um, yeah, it is the given, sorry. So that's B, right? So what about the numerator? Well, um, we can calculate the probability of A, right? The probability that it is a two-headed coin is just one-third, right? So that's sort of easy. Right, so the probability of A, picking A out of the, you know, three coins in a box, assuming that it's equal probability, again, it's one-third, okay? Now the hard part, the probability that the flip is heads, given the fact that it's a two-headed coin, right? So, again, we're only talking about the two-headed coin, right? Because that's our, our given, right? We're given the fact that it's a two-headed coin. What's the probability that that two-headed coin that we just talked about will come up heads. Well, it's two-headed, so it's gonna come up heads all the time. So the probability that it comes up heads is one, right? So the probability of B, um, given A, right? So the probability that the flip is heads, given the fact that it's a two-headed coin, we know it's a two-headed coin, we flip it, it's guaranteed to be heads, so the probability of B, given A, is gonna be one, right? Always gonna come up heads. So then you just do a basic arithmetic, right? So then uh, we have uh, the probability 
of A given B going to be equal to right here, right? The probability of B given A is 1, right? That's a 1. Times the probability of A, 1 third, divided by the denominator, which is, um, let's see, we have 1 third uh, plus, uh, what is that, 3 quarters, um, here we have, um, sorry, 2-6 uh, plus, oh wait, I'm multiplying, hello, sorry, I'm just trying to add them, uh, 1 third times 1 half, you just cross multiply, right, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6, so it's 1 sixth, and then plus, one third times three quarters, again, cross multiply. Three times one is three, four times three is 12, three twelfths or um, one fourth, right? So um, that's basically the answer. Uh, I'm not gonna waste time and try and uh, calculate the numbers. I guess I'll put it in the, in the, um, the description or something because um, I'll add an extra minute. But um, yeah, so that's basically the answer. That's how you arrive at the answer. You know, you really think about um, you, you know, like like we always said, just just talk it out to yourself. And once you listen to yourself, what you're saying, it actually, if you think about it, it becomes really easy, right? So hopefully this helped, and uh, we'll do a couple more base theorem problems, and we'll see you all in the next video.